So we got this file here which is called as recipes.txt. If I open this file, you can see we have this thing. We have not removed chicken fry yet. Now what I want to do is I want to add some more details or some more recipes. If I click on this, uh, let me just add some more recipes. I will say beans uh, and then I will I, I want to add some more stuff. Let's say, uh, oh yeah, what, what else we can have? We can have a pizza. Okay, so let's say we have these two things. But I'm not sure if we really have to add these features. Let's say if you're working on a project and you, you have added some two, two more or two or three features. Now, if you say comment, that those features will be added in your, in your project. Maybe you don't want to do that in, in the current project. You want to have that in the next major version. Because normally when you build a project, you go for two different things. We, get minor, we go for minor versions, we can go for major versions. Maybe you want this thing in a major update. So you have a choice of committing this in the same branch. You can say I've added beans and okay, what uh, beans and pizza. So add it. Now you have added this th two things. Now you can commit directly to the master branch because by default you will be having a master branch. Now it gives you one more advantage here, which is called as one more option, which is create a new branch for this commit. Now what is the advantage is, if you create a new branch, let's say I will name this branch as uh, could have, uh, this simply means that I can have these features, I will say could have branch. So this is my could have branch and say propose file change. Now you can see, okay, so okay, just saying pizza added, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, I don't want to do anything now. So that's my uh, thing. So if I op if I go back to code, can you see that it gives you an option of branch here? Can you see that branch? It says could have branch. Now this is the new branch which I have created. If I see the recipes here, it will have all the recipes, the old one and the new one which you have created. But what if I go back to my own branch which is master branch? Can you see that if you expand this, you have an option of master branch there. If you go to master branch, hey can you see that we don't have beans and pizza here because we have added those things on new branch. That means this is a branch where you can actually work on uh, on the current current version. So imagine this is 4.7 version which you are working with on your software and for sure which features you want to add, you can add those features here. Example, let's say uh, you want to have extra features. Okay, what features I will have? Or maybe I will say thank you and later I will say uh, final copy. I will, I'm added this text. Now the moment you add this text and if you say recipes, this will say done with current version okay or current version line now if you commit these changes you can see we have two versions now in two different branch in your master branch you have this text which i cannot see now hold on is it refreshed oh my intent okay so can you see that we got final copy that's my master branch and if i go back to my could have branch in this, I don't have that uh, uh, final version done. Now, what I want to do is, I want to reflect. So, we have two different branches, right? Can we merge these two branches? I want to combine these two files, right? Because I felt, you know, this is perfect. I want to have this pizza and beans in the current version itself. Can we do that? Can we just merge these two files? Let's try. What I will do is, I will click on this edit. I will say, done my changes. Imagine you are adding some comments. So done my changes and I will say commit once again. I will say done. I will say commit. Now what you can do is you can just merge these two files. But how do I do that? We have to search for the option to merge these files now. Uh, where is the option? I guess my internet is not working properly. It is, it is working very slow. Okay, now we have to search for a place where you can, where you will get to you will get the option of merging these two projects or to these two branches. What we can do is we can go to task and here you can see we have an option of compare and pull request. Now if you click on this, uh, you have to send a pull request. So you can see we have a base which is master branch and you are comparing this to could have because these are two different things and it's, it gives you an issue. It says can't automatically merge. Normally it happens because what we have, what we have is we have some conflict here. The conflict is we have we have two different files. Okay, let me create a pull request and let's see what happens. So let, let me create a pull request and it will show you where the issue is. And if I go, okay, so you can see that we, it says 
this branch has conflicts that must be resolved. Now why this conflict? Because if I click on resolve conflict, you can see there's a conflict because we have added these files in between. You see that one file is saying done with changes and other file is saying final copy. And this is done by could have and this is done by final copy. So as a human, you have to solve this issue now. What you can do is you can remove this thing. You can remove this space and you can remove this. So this part came from could have and this, this part came from a master and now you can merge. Remember this one is this one is also coming from uh, could have and once you have done with the changes you can say mark as resolve. This is how you can combine two files. But git is smart enough to combine this two. The problem is I have there was a problem with the spacing of, of, of the sentence that's why it was not able to do that. But normally it does. Okay, so it says conflict removed and now click on merge, I mean commit merge. So these two branches are getting merged now. So your could have features are going to the master branch and let's hope it is done. You can see it is done. I want to merge three commits. Okay, now finally you have to say this. Can you see that it says no branch, uh, this branch has no conflicts. Once you have solved your issues, you can click on merge pull request, confirm merge. And it's going on, it's going on, and it is confirmed. Okay, so can you see that the merging is done, but how do we verify? Go back to code, go back to master, and you can see merge branch master into could have. So that's done. Go to recipes. Okay, now you got beans and pizza, you got done my changes, and you got a final copy. Awesome, right? So this is how you can create a branch. So if you are working on a project, you can create a separate branch and you can work on that project or that branch. And later you can merge. Okay, but then let's say if you have multiple people working on this, should we create multiple branches? That makes sense. We can have multiple branches there. But just because Git, I mean, GitHub provides you multiple branches, that doesn't mean you should create, keep creating branches, right? Uh, your branches should make sense. Next, what if you have someone who want to contribute to your project? Now we will see that. One, so in in the next video, we'll talk about this forking. And we'll, we'll see how someone else can contribute in your project. So yeah, that's it from this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. And let me know if you have any issues in the comment section. And that's it from this video. Thanks so much for watching.